a spooky hello to you. Uh, what's up, everyone? This is Brooks for you, and <laughs> just ignore that intro for the three spooky days I'm doing. But this is the Ghost Train. Now, I think it's one of the best, you know, spooky Halloween sets ever released. Now, I just want to quickly get a couple complaints out of the way. First off, the plane. I get why this is original original action theme. You know, there had to be a good guy vehicle in this. I'm not a very big fan of it. And secondly, the carriages. Now, we're going to be making this comparison a bit later, but I took this from my dad's Lego collection. I'm not a Hogwarts collector at all, but a uh, Harry Potter collector, sorry. But uh, the fact that the ghost train doesn't have a proper carriage. It has, you know, little cars, but um, not a proper carriage, which makes me sad. I have actually designed my own custom carriage for it, which I'll be showing off. I don't know, some point in November, because I'm still working on the caboose. And so, yeah, so there's also some glow-in-the-dark stuff on this set, and I will, uh, because of my light box area is just so bright, because I have three light boxes uh, on my setup right now. So it's supercharging the glow-in-the-dark parts. So we're going to be taking a look at them in a bit. But first off, just, let's just look at one of the ghosts. Uh, very simple. I mean, you've you know seen a ghost figure, hopefully, in LEGO before. Has a very old cutout, and this does glow in dark. And this is actually, I believe, exclusive to Monster Fighter sets with the uh, frowny face. We have a uh, Ann Lee, very interesting looking figure. Just has a uh, silver crossbow. Also has a silver spike in her hair. Yeah, they have the uh, corset design. You have the uh, medallion. There's you know garlic and you know steaks. You know, very much of a vampire hunter feel with this figure. Now, turning her head around, you know, essentially, you know, what we've come to expect from these dual molded faces, you know, angry side, you know, smirk has that little uh, uh, mark across her face. I think she is an okay figure. However, we get to what I think is just the coolest figure in the set. Frank Rock. And the, the very first character I can think of that's close to him is Tank Dempsey from uh, Call of Duty Zombies. And when I say I could see this character yelling, Oorah! And, you know, take that, freak bags! Um, and the very Tank Dempsey and, like, uh, Shinonuma or whatever, um, well, I guess, Doris even, um, way, just fits him. V very much fits the, you know, I have two pistols, because I'm a cool guy. <laughs> um, look, he has these uh, metal, like, knee pads, chain going up his legs, Vials on one side. It's very dirty shirt design. Sunglasses on this side. And just a determined face on the other. Very interesting because this face is very similar to a couple city ones. And this one's also very close to a city one. But uh, put together. So now figures to the side. Crossbow to the side. Let's take a look at the plane. So first off you have this chain. Which is obviously for uh, rescuing whoever you want to have in the... Uh, Jail, I believe this is Frank Rock's plane. Just have um, Anne in the uh, train. I'm not, I, f I forget though. Um, you have this barrel of something up here. It's obviously powering these. Some green liquid. I mean, it's, you know, same on the missiles. So obviously some kind of, I don't know, slime or whatever. Uh, we have six revolvers at the front, which is just really cool. Um, this doesn't spin too well, I've unfortunately noticed. But uh, you have these, uh, of course... Landing gear on the bottom. Unfortunately, it's not retractable in any way. So yeah, you have this fit on the back. And I just do love the overall shaping of this plane. Very simple, but very nice. And yeah. Now we get to the ghost train. I'm going to just let it quickly move for just a second. You can see the uh, bat wings on them uh, flutter. In a very nice looking way. But I'm just going to detach these because... Uh, and look at the actual star of the show here, which is the engine. Now, to put it simply, I think, at least personally, this is my favorite engine LEGO has ever made. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to detach the uh, Hogwarts Express engine from its coal car. Since this is the only other uh, steam train I have access to, I, I guess I, I do have the uh, holiday train, but uh, I think that's, that's you know, in pieces upstairs. I'm not about to rebuild that just for this, I'm sorry. Uh, which I think I think the uh, Holiday Express might be a more similar comparison to this set, but uh, just like, kind of looking at the Hogwarts Express, I 
really prefer this set, honestly. I, I think everything down to the kind of uh, cow catcher design. The unfortunate thing is I don't think this one turns as well on track. But uh, we're going to test that because at some point when my LEGO City is up and working, we're going to be trying to run this guy um, with an actual motor. So that'll be pretty cool. Now, obviously, this has just amazing spooky detailing all over it. You know, just bones and there's just... Uh, there's this face up at the front, you know, this green... Uh, smoke coming out of it. You know, you have your moonstone here. It just all, all over, this just is amazing. Now, the one thing I wish is that they had somehow been able to create um, the effect that the uh, Hogwarts Express has. Uh, I do not know what this is called right here. Um, I just know it's on some of my uh, dad's, like, model train kits. You know, mo not model train kits, but, you know, model trains. Very similar thing. I wish they were able to go out on the set, but uh, overall, honestly, again, it just looks so, so cool. Pull this back. And you can see there's a little furnace in there. Unfortunately, there's not a coal car in this set. So uh, I don't know where they're getting that from. Again, it's just, it, it moves very nicely. We're only going to take a look at one of the bat cars, due to them being the exact, exact same. But uh, as you can see, it just flaps its wings ever so slightly. Again, almost like a little bat face up here. Move this back, you can put one ghost in, you know, bone, bone. There's nothing to it. Unfortunately, though, this is where the train stops being that cool. This cannot be run on train tracks. This can. This can't. That just really, that really just frustrates me. And again, that's where I wish the set, because like, I would be more okay with these carriages if they had actual train wheels. But uh, I get that for the point of this function, this was how they had to do it. But uh, of course, they were trying to run it on tables. Um, unfortunate, but yeah. I could open up this little prison car just like that again. It's it's rather sticky since this is an old set, but uh yeah, it's very again a lot of bones, very metal feeling. Again, this very bat like cars. Now I'm going to stop recording um and just let this kind of just charge up for a little bit and see how see if I can capture the glow in the dark effect properly. So yeah, I'll be right back. I definitely would not want to come across that in the dark just from that glow alone. Especially the front of it, it's just creepy, honestly, so, so creepy. Now, again, I just love the set so much. I've always wanted it, and I finally, finally got it. So for my final thoughts, again, it's really, really good. I mean, it's a great action set. In my opinion, it's one of the best action sets LEGO's ever made. I mean, just for that. Again, unfortunately, personally, as someone who really wants um, a proper steam train in my layout, I mean, the Orient Express is coming out, but... Uh, I just prefer this um, uh, engine design. So again, I have designed at least, I currently have one passenger carriage, but I will be designing like a caboose and such. So there will be a video at some point showcasing those. Um, some point, once I have my new table up in my city in place, uh, this is not gonna be the first, or I'm sorry, this is not gonna be the last time you hear me talking about that city, since that is a project I cannot wait for. Now, as I leave you off, I want to leave you off with a funny mental image. Once I stop this video, I'm about to go in the other room and just, just drive this around my uh, living room. Just going choo-choo, choo-choo, because uh, this is such a cool set and truly transports me back to when I was like six. Uh, Toys R Us Monster Fighters event with this uh, little thing of a stickers, a cauldron, and a... Uh, skeleton with these little arms and it was like a little build that went along with it and looking at this set and desperately wanting it and that is why on this channel you'll see sometimes I'm, I'm going back and buying these older sets because you know I mean as a kid you know you miss out on stuff that you really want and when you get older you can look back and go and buy those and that's what I've been trying to do and I've my lego wanted list is shrinking 
you know, every year it's, it's shrinking and that makes me so, so incredibly happy. But yeah, thank you all for watching and have a spooky week. Goodbye.